15 of the National Football League. And our focus is on the Lions, superstar wide receiver. And with him, any catch could be a big one. He's the NFL leader in touchdown receptions. It's the Lions and the Broncos. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good run on tap here as it will be the Denver Broncos taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come in after tasting defeat for the first time in about a month as their loss snapped a four-game winning streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos, it's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. Ready to get it started here, Riley Patterson. And we are underway from Ford Field. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. Bringing them out is the 12th year pro seeking a return to Pro Bowl form, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right and to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Now a second and two. Here's Wilson. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three-touchdown game in their victory a week ago. But what's the big key for them to try to slow him down? You ask all the tough questions, don't you, partner? Because with this guy, if you blitz him, he takes advantage of that man coverage and burns you. But if you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be those DBs. When they catch the ball, big-time tackles really put it on those receivers. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free in the tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw taken in by Sutton. They only get five out of that quick slam, but that's good enough for a first. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels, you know, get to line. Touchdown! A great effort there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Broncos are on the board first here this afternoon. Now this is a crew, they've come out flat their last two games, both losses, but just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you you've gone somewhere, but you really have. You're in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, so you know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. to the Super Bowl and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, 
He's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. A give running left, it's Sanders. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. But you look at this Bronco defense. They've certainly had their struggles against the run at the 30th ranked unit out of 32 teams in the NFL. And the focus now is... And the Broncos get there and take him down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go... There is a hush indeed. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Again, it's Williams. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. First of foul, roughing the kicker, defense. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk-reward play. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in there, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Got his man, it's Williams. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Oh, well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Lions are going to get this back to their own 34 yard line. We've seen points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And on this basis, we've been further into this game. That play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time. We give you a look at what's going on there. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. 
Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. A throw over the middle, taken in. That was a first down pick up of eight. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's gone. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Johnson, the intended target. And it's third down. But you look at this Bronco defense. They've certainly had their struggles against the run. At the 30th ranked unit out of 32 teams in the NFL. The numbers are definitely not in their favor. But every time I click on the film and watch them, I see some stretches where they're playing against the run really well. Their biggest problem running about those explosive runs, those 30, 40, 50 yard runs. That'll really mess up your averages. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory, right at the 40. Here's Sanders. Down to about the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Sanders. So five yards here, five on the play. And third and one now. Goff now to throw. That is caught. And he's going to have the Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target able to pick up another first down. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he stopped immediately there. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Goff now looking to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here's Goff. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. A 43-yard attempt. Patterson's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. They begin the drive with Williams. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Tackle made that time by Aline McNeil. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two from the 24 now. Here's a second and five as they've got it as we resume action. Williams loses the football. A call it locker skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing they're calling it now, out of They don't care if it was luck or skill or the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground. Whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Now you could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. 
Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at the 33. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And again, a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards to pick up, first down. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. To throw on second down is gone. Throwing right, and that's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 31-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Sanders shaking and baking, and he's taking down the nine the 10-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. A lot of running backs, a little bit of a disadvantage when you start talking MVP. Might not be the case this year. You think he's got a shot, don't you? I do. I think he's got more than a shot, but what he's going to need here down the stretch this late in the season, he needs that big closing game, that game that we're all going to reflect on and go, oh my goodness, did he put up a number? Let's say 200 plus. Goff now looks to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there with an amazing diving catch. And the Lions have taken the lead. A diving catch for the score he laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? All the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is now 10 to seven. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Here's Smith to return it, taking it about the one. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. This offense so far on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. Now a toss left side. It's Williams. And some space here. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Well, I'd have to say in that situation, they're lined up for a running play. It's only third and two. 
some element of the pass, but that was really well blocked. Probably call those gravy plays, right, if you're the offensive coordinator? No doubt about it. All you're trying to do is get the two yards necessary for a first down. Then you look up, you've got a whole lot more than that. Yeah, they did. They got a lot more than that, indeed. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. Good luck trying to get your running game going against Indomitian and Sue. I mean, he is so strong. Just trying to move him, take one guy, two guys, whatever. I wish you a whole lot of luck. He usually converts an offensive running game into rubble. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 78 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Wilson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Lions are going to get the football here as the ball will come down to the 20. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, it's going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal, and you throw the pick, not good at all. After the interception, here's Goff. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. And they'll use him out in the backfield, and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. Meanwhile, Goff's third down there to St. Brown. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as he'll get this up to the 32. Now gone. Over the middle, it's complete. And then we tackle right on the chalk at the 45. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Goff throwing again. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. All right, coming up at intermission. Charles, you want a way to enhance your Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside at half to take us through the weekend in the NFL. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. To throw is gone. Shoves him away. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a big and this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos 36. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, Goff. Johnson with a completion over the middle. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Now second and three. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he'll go down here. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And in for the Lions, touchdown! Amon Ross St. Brown from 17. 
17 yards out. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Here's Smith to return it. This taken in right around the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Denver Broncos back out there. Former Tar Heel Javante Williams. We shine the spotlight on him. And he's sure looking like a lot for a thousand yard season. Don't know if he's going to get it in this game, but he'd probably like to just to get past that point. Yeah, and if he doesn't, as you noted, there's still time, still opportunity. There's still more games to be played. So, yeah, it's not a lock. But barring injury, it certainly looks like he's going to get there. And what an accomplishment that is. Anytime you get over 1,000 yards, you're celebrated in the NFL. It's been quite a season. Still a couple chapters left in that book, though. On second down, here's Wilson. For over the middle, taken in by Dulcich. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. What would look like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary run block with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Lions got a very strong performance out of their quarterback, Jared Goff. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Peoples-Jones going to elect not to run this out, and they'll begin at the 25. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw, Goff. He's got his turn, and that's complete. And he's going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a snap, rock, and fire. I mean, it didn't take long at all. Slam route, and I loved where he 
put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Here's Goff. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 34-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 44-yard line. Now it's gone. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and four at the 38-yard line. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And that one opened up for him as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 53 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Now Goff on first down. Shoves him aside. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They'll fake the give. Now golf. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one there, could not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. That's his 18th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Lions take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field and extend their lead. Extra point try now for Patterson. And the lead is up to 14. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive... That could make this a three-possession game. Now Wilson, short throw caught by Dosich. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Broncos first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches.
Wilson will throw again. Looking middle, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Wilson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Gain of four. It's now second and six at the Lions' 40-yard line. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Now it's Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Detroit's offense ready to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Here's gone. Open man downfield is Johnson. towards getting it done. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football. Almost like... And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A great play there. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Lions take a three-touchdown lead. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Denver's offense now set to go. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. On second down, Wilson. Short throw caught by Dulcich. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. 
They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First down, Denver. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Wilson. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up. His time has now run out on this third quarter of play. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Broncos on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and eight. There's Wilson to throw. Oh, he had him. It was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Broncos first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. He'll find Sutton on the right side complete. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. This is caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Williams. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. Williams again. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. His fifth rushing touchdown on the year, number nine overall. And the Broncos have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And Detroit getting set to go now. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago. And now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives. And a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after him right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. <laughs> I say run the football. You've got, oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? The Goff's throw complete there to Johnson. 
So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. That's returnable now for Smith. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. On first down, Wilson. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw is Wilson. And he is caught. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And he comes back with one complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. And they need two. Here's third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Here's Wilson. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back, because they understand you can only go to the ball so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. On third down, Wilson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. He's got his target. That's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who's shaken up. 
So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's Wilson. He's going to have the first down, and more than that. And the Broncos are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, they come out and take a look at him. We will step aside for just a moment. Throwing is Wilson. Setting up the screen to P. Ryan. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. P. Ryan, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now Wilson on second down. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. So here we go on a third and goal. This Lions defense, they haven't broken yet. They'll motion out one of the tight ends. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. They'll go to P. Ryan, trying to pound it in. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. Samaj P. Ryan. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Broncos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. Here in the fourth quarter, defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts to grow this opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. From the 25, here's second and six. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Extra point by Patterson. Up and good. And the lead now up to 14. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. From his end zone, here's Traymond Smith. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here is Wilson and the Broncos. Down by two touchdowns, a minute 37 remaining. 
And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Broncos. A big play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Broncos have cut it back within a score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. So here come the Lions now. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and 11. A give running left. It's Sanders. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. A couple more minutes, and maybe the outcome of this with Charles would have been different, but ultimately time runs out on the comeback, so it falls short, and they hold on to win this by just one possession. Not the fourth quarter they wanted, but they did earn the win, and they'll be happy about that, and they should be. Now they're going to go back to practice, see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was. So for the Lions, they'll hit double digits with their 10th win of the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, the season is really nosediving now as they fall to 2-12. and 12. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.